welcome to this new feature by us at Zenla. So this is Facebook pixel tracking events. So now what we've done is we've actually integrated Facebook pixel into the integrations on your Zenla platform. So what this means is that it will actually give you custom tracking. So we can custom track certain events on the website now automatically. Now, as a word of note, if you've already added the pixel base code and set up all your standard events, then you can actually now remove that code from the page because when you use the integrations, the pixel base code will automatically be added into the site and into every page and will instantly start tracking your data. So all you need is the pixel ID. This makes it a lot easier for you guys to sort it out because it does custom tracking within there. So in this sheet here, what we've got is we can connect with Facebook Pixel to track custom events on your site, such as course purchases, funnel subscription, live classes, interactive webinar registrations, or page visits. So earlier, we could only track page views using tracking code on page includes but there was no way to track custom events like course purchases, funnel subscribers, live classes, interactive webinars, registrations, or page visits. So not anymore, we have now added the Facebook pixel to integrations to address this. So as you can see here, we have this one to six on the custom tracked events going through, including things like marketing funnels and this uh, records the funnel name and the mail ID. Uh, we've also got for courses, and as you can see through the list, we have courses by on initiate checkout, purchase. We've also got any live class, so live class registrations. We've got um, live webinar, webinar registrations, live webinar and leads if user registered is not a student. So all this recording happens quite quickly. It's really quick to implement. I'm going to show you how to do it now. So let's jump into the site and into your Facebook pixel, grab the ID and put that straight into your Zendler platform. So we're, here we are on the site. So go across to site integrations and scroll down to Facebook pixel. So you can see now that we can actually enter a pixel ID. So I'm going to jump across to my events manager. This is a business account, but you can do this on the personal one. And what we need to do is we need to grab this ID here. So I'm going to just click in here and I'm going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to jump across to the site and I'm going to connect with Facebook Pixel. And I'm basically going to press Control V to paste that in there and click Save. Now what's happened now is that it has actually recorded that and that pixel has been input into the site. Let's check that by going to the site page, right hand clicking, going down to view page source. And if we scroll, scroll down, you're going to see that we have the Facebook pixel installed. And there it is there. With your ID ending 743, 743. You're also going to notice that under the test events now, it started to process already because I have just viewed a page on that site. So let's go and test this. Let's actually go and enroll in a funnel and see the results we get. I have a funnel. I'm going to sign up for this funnel like this, and I'm gonna click give me the ebook. Okay, let's check in our events manager now and see if it's triggered this event. And there we go. And you can see inside here now, if we open this up, it has given the details, the funnel, the ID, and the action website across there, plus the URL of the funnel. Okay, let's enroll in this test course. Let's hit enroll. Okay, let's go and see in the events. And now you can see the initiate checkout. And if we look in there, Again, you can see the course and you can see the email address and more information under here. Currency paid as I paid with a coupon and the course was free. There is no currency price, but that would show if I had paid for the course. 
So it's as simple as that. You just need to go into site integrations and then just put your pixel ID straight in there. As a word of note, as mentioned before, make sure if you've already loaded your base pixel code into the pages, into the global excludes, please remove it if you're using this method. Otherwise, you'll have two lots of tracking, base tracking in there, and it can cause errors. So you need to remove that, and then you can just put it straight into the integrations and into the pixel code. 